Hey y'all, Edward the Lego Texan here with another speed build for you. And today is another entry in my dark, my dark ages series of builds. And today's set is set 21108 Lego Ideas Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And please don't get confused. This is not the large Ecto-1 that came out more recently. This is one that came out 2014, 10 years ago. Um, I'm doing a rebuild on this one. And I don't have the original box anymore, or I believe the original directions either. I, I think I just have the set now. Um, so looking forward to getting this rebuilt. I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbusters um, films. I love the original two, the Ghostbusters one, Ghostbusters two. I I did I did like the 2016 uh, soft reboot with the female cast. A lot of people didn't. I enjoyed it um, to a degree. <laughs> um, and then I did enjoy the Afterlife movie. Although I haven't had, as of this filming, I haven't had a chance to watch Frozen Empire yet. So I don't, haven't seen all the Ghostbusters films yet. But the Ecto-1 is such a classic vehicle. And I'm looking forward to featuring it in, on this channel. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's get to it.
welcome to my review of the Lego Ideas Ecto-1. And we'll start with the minifigures first. So we get all four of the original Ghostbusters on a nice little brick built stand. Uh, Ray, Egon, Peter, and Winston. Uh, all four of them come with their proton packs. Um, Ray and Egon have radios and Winston has this, which I'm guessing is the ghost trap or something else handheld. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Um, I like the look of the proton packs. We got printed pieces on all those for all the, the controls and lights and everything on that. And this little brick built stand is a nice touch. You need a way to display the minifigures separately because these are all really awesome minifigs. Uh, by the way, this, uh, the Ghostbusters symbol is a printed piece. There are several of this exact piece in the set and they're all printed. There's no stickers in this set at all, which was awesome. Um, on to the actual Ecto-1. Here it is. And I do like this set. This is a really cool uh, design. It's actually been on a display shelf in my living room for the last 10 years since I built it. I actually had to take it apart, wash it, get it completely cleaned up, ready for a brand new rebuild. It looks just as good as it did the day I opened the box. Um, uh, really, really nice construction. I love the use of different uh, parts to give the different angles of this car because you know if you've seen Ghostbusters you know this is a very iconic vehicle with some very cool lines in it. Um, I love the printed license plates on front and back. Again the printed, printed Ghostbusters um, panels make an appearance and this roof is super detailed and I love all of those details on top. Is so cool. You go through and you see all the different colors and different part usage. All the stuff that's on top of the vehicle, which I don't believe is ever explained in the movie what it's all for. It just looks really cool. Um, the roof does detach. Uh, there is a interior. It is not super duper detailed or packed. Um, there is a printed brick in there. That's like a computer in there. Um, some seating, a steering wheel, not much else in the way of interior details. This is kind of a small model. They could only do so much. Um, I am certain that the larger Ecto-1 set has much more detailed interior than this one does. Um, let me fix this little piece that's popped off as I open it. No problem. Easy to fix. Um... A lot of fun to build, a lot of fun to build, a lot of fun to rebuild. So had a lot of good uh, times building this. And that actually brings me to the end of this review, keeping it short and sweet today. Uh, thank you for watching along and thank you for following along with my, um, my Dark Ages series. Um, stay tuned for more builds. And... Um, if you have this particular set, you know, please drop a comment in the comments. Let me know if you have it, if you like it, what you like it about it, what you don't like about it. Um, while you're at it, also give me, hit that like button and give me a, uh, a subscribe as well. Also follow me in my other socials, TikTok and Instagram, both of which are linked in the description below. Um, if you like Lego and you like my content, please uh, follow me everywhere you can, every channel you can. And that brings it to an end for the day. Keep on building. Bye.